Star Wars Rise of the Inquisitor Chapter 4 One week after Vasari's mission on Zyost, the Imperator exited hyperspace in orbit of Coruscant. An Imperial Lambda-class shuttle flew out of the hangar and was occupied by Acolyte Vasari and a squad of stormtroopers on guard who were securing his safe arrival to the Inquisitorial Academy. The city's skyline was absent due to a torrential rainstorm that pelted the metal surface of Coruscant's cityscape. As the rain drenched the shuttle as it flew past oncoming speeders, its wings folded upward as its landing gear deployed, descending gracefully onto the landing pad of the Inquisitorial Academy. Vasari walked down from the landing ramp, and on his belt hung his newly constructed lightsaber hill. The fearsome weapon was silver with black accents, and black claw-like protrusions under where the crossguard blade would ignite, so that he would protect his hands during combat. As Vasari opened the door to the academy, he noticed immediately that it was completely dark. Still, he walked in the academy's main hall. He sensed other dark side users around him, probably the higher ranked inquisitors shrouded in cloaks of dark side energy. And then he sensed the more powerful presence in the front of the main hall. It was the Grand Inquisitor. Walking towards him, Vasari felt the Grand Inquisitor's presence about a meter in front of him. Kneel, Vasari, the Grand Inquisitor ordered, and Vasari did so. All of the ten Inquisitors, and then finally the Grand Inquisitor, activated their scarlet lightsabers towards the ceiling, all revealing their shrouded faces. Then the ten Inquisitors lowered their blades downward, at a 45 degree angle from their legs, pointing at the floor. The Grand Inquisitor then placed his blade above Vasari's left shoulder, and then moved it over his head and to the right shoulder. Knighting him. By order of Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader, I take thy blade and knight thee. From this moment on, let it be known that thou wilt cease to be an acolyte, and thus thou shalt be our eleventh brother. Rise, Inquisitor Raiko Vasari, the Grand Inquisitor proclaimed, and Vasari stood upward as the Grand Inquisitor moved his lightsaber back upward. An evil grin spread across Vasari's face. Finally, he was ready to do battle with his sworn enemy, the last remaining Jedi Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you, my master, Vasari acknowledged. Now, ignite your blade, the Grand Inquisitor commanded. Very well. Vasari then unclipped the hilt of his lightsaber from his belt and pressed the activation switch. A long red blade shot outward, and two miniature ones jutted from the top of the hilt. All of the Inquisitors, even the Grand Inquisitor, were all quite impressed. It produced a dark and sinister humming noise, and crackled with energy. What a unique design, aside from the other Inquisitors who created one similar to mine. Though I believe it suits you well, Vasari. Well done, the Grand Inquisitor commented. Indeed, the design just came to me. Vasari wasn't wrong about his statement, though he dare not reveal the details of how it came into his mind. As did mine, Vasari. You will spend the coming days honing your skills with this new lightsaber, and now your first test will be fighting me. The Grand Inquisitor lunged forward with his lightsaber, and Vasari had just enough time to parry it away from his head. The two Inquisitors engaged in a vicious lightsaber. As Vasari held his crossguard saber with two hands and blocked each lunge from the Grand Inquisitor, the Powan grew impatient. He then force pushed Vasari backwards sending him flying and nearly out of the Academy's front door. Impressive, Vasari. Most impressive. You fared well against one blade, but can you fight against two? The Grand Inquisitor then activated another crimson blade from the bottom of the hilt, forming a one-handed lightsaber staff. The Powan dashed forward with force speed and immediately hacked and slashed with his dual-bladed saber. The hums and clashes of their blades echoed throughout the main hall. Vasari gritted his teeth, desperately trying to parry the blow from the Grand Inquisitor's dual lightsaber. He then remembered what he did to the other human acolyte he fought a week earlier, when he used the crossguard of his Viber sword to catch the oncoming blade from his attacker. Yet this time it didn't work, and the Grand Inquisitor anticipated his tactic. I admire your persistence, Vasari. Let your anger ignite your true power, the Grand Inquisitor encouraged as the two combatants viciously clashed with the lightsaber. As Vasari just barely managed to block each attack, from above to the left and right, 
and then lunges to the center. His rage grew exponentially, and he decided to leap backwards about a couple meters away from the Grand Inquisitor. In a split second, he had another vision of the Force. It was of him unleashing a barrage of red lightning from his hands, incinerating a group of rebel soldiers inside some sort of base. The vision faded, and Vasari instinctively called upon the Force to unleash a storm of red Force lightning from his fingertips. The Grand Inquisitor had an expression on his face that spelled both fear and surprise, and as the red lightning impacted, he blocked it with his lightsaber. This time, however, the handguard unfolded and formed a circle around the handle, and then the lightsaber began to spit. Despite the Grand Inquisitor's attempts to defend himself, he was dragged backwards a few centimeters. After Vasari's burst of force lightning faded away, the Grand Inquisitor deactivated his lightsaber. <laughs> You've managed to use forced lightning. The remaining Jedi will cower at your very name, the Grand Inquisitor foretold. Indeed they will, Master, and I have you to thank for bringing me this far, Vasari commented, deactivating his lightsaber. If my Master would want to report on this duel, he would be most pleased, the Grand Inquisitor commented.